Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Scavenger series. Last episode with our list, we were able to upgrade four areas of our hideout and work towards unlocking the gym. Today, we're going to continue with that momentum and push to break through the rest of the defensive wall and into the gym itself. And with step two comes a few challenges with a few of the items on our list, namely the TNT brick. Figured we go to Streets of Tarkov as it's got a large amount of technology and crates. But before we start today's episode, I want to discuss something. Now throughout this series so far, I've been trying to find different ways to level up the PMC while working on our scavengers. I think I figured out a way, and that is going to be by us collecting as much food and water as we can, and drinking and eating it between raids. This does give us experience, and it will slowly but surely get us the levels that we're trying to achieve. The scavenger series is starting to ramp up, ladies and gentlemen. We're on our way to unlock the gym, work towards endurance level 2, and get intelligence center unlocked. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? All right, we've got our list of things we need to get. It's a pretty big list actually, so we need to get started. But we are right next to some computers, so we're gonna go check for the CPUs first. We only need three of those, and then we can get the vents leveled up to level two. And then I gotta figure out where we can get a TNT from. I mean, I mean we could probably get it. We could probably get it from like tech boxes, so we'll have to be looking out for those. Is that a phone? That is a phone. So it's not like it's gonna be like the most difficult thing in the world to find. We just gotta keep an eye out, keep searching things, and yeah, we'll eventually get it. Stuff like this I'm only keeping obviously for staying alive for the time being. We also need light bulbs, wires, we need a bunch of stuff. Because not only am I preparing for the stuff we currently are trying to unlock, but I'm also preparing for the future of getting the gym working. We should be able to get the gym working by next episode. Because it takes like three hours for the gym to actually get like or at least the defensive wall, the next step of the defensive wall to finish. So we do have a little bit of time to work towards it. I also want to get a fleece because, or another fleece, because if you clean the floor again, you get like bonuses for cleaning the floors. So I, I don't know if that technically counts towards, oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, I don't know if that counts towards the, the scav or not, but we're going to grab it anyway. And it should be able to find one easily on this map. Oh, there's one that the tool sets we need. Very nice. I need to get a bigger backpack and a bigger chest, chest rig because these are not going to be able to carry everything we need. And we need a lot. Our shopping list is pretty large. Tarkov gave us a large list to get and I need that hat. So give me that cowboy hat. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I gotta go back downstairs to see if I can find the police. The police will be located downstairs, not upstairs. These deep bugs aren't bad to get though. WD-40. I need the mini WD-40 right now. Now I know there's a lot, a lot of comments been saying that you actually don't get any XP for completing scav tasks. It only gives you just the the reward points towards the rep. But I've definitely seen photos of, of experience, and there's no reason for that experience to be going towards the scav because well, there's nothing to level up on the scav. So that that XP would have to specifically go towards the PMC. Now I'm not saying you guys are wrong. We'll have to do some tests on it. But if that is true, that definitely does change up a little bit of the idea of what we're trying to complete on this account. However, if that is the case, like I said, then we'll come up with some other plans. You guys have some really good ideas, actually, of how we could implement the money that we're collecting with the with the type of unlocks we could also do as well. So we'll continuously talk about that as well. And as of right now, I'm still sticking to, to our gut, or to my gut at least, that it's going to be possible. Got to be a fleece around here somewhere. Where the heck are the fleece at? And are there any dead bodies? I need a lot of things. Also, this video is being recorded after the update they had. So now it's a lot brighter inside interchange, which is nice. Ooh, hello. I was not expecting you to be here. It will take you. Look at that. RFID. All someone has not taken that yet, I will never know. <laughs> We're going to go back towards the Goshen quickly and see if there's any dead bodies over here. And maybe we'll get lucky with one or two. We got shots outside because obviously the airdrop just came down, so people are going to be trying to go for that. Okay, just another scab. Let's go work on some metabolism then while we're waiting, or not waiting, but while we're searching for some bodies. Maybe someone's going to grab some food or something. You guys have been like killing it with the support, so thank you, thank you so much for that. We are obviously just trying to keep pushing this series as far as we possibly can, and I'm enjoying the heck out of it. 
it's definitely something that's just different and that's not the usual type of Tarkov experience and it's been a lot of fun. Although it is funny when I read like, hey, this is just my normal Tarkov experience. Are you trying to make fun of me? And I'm like, no. This is just trying to me showcase your experiences that you have on a normal basis. So you're welcome. <laughs> Let's see if there's any food. I think we're a little low in the energy department. Let's go check that out. Is there any food? There is some peas. God's food right there. The peas are so good. Keep those bad boys up. Keep that metabolism. Let's take a look at the skills too. While we're waiting for any some gunshots that may be coming around, we're level six right now on the scav. We got four strength or four sorry four durns, two strength. What's our metabolism at? We're at five. The skills are looking pretty good. We're definitely trying to get that the memory or the attention skill and also the search skill up. Where's the search skill? In? There it is, level two. So it's getting there. We definitely need to like search everything, grab everything when we can. Bigger backpack obviously helps with that. Where did I drop that item? Oh, there it is. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. All right, let's go find a dead person, shall we? Ooh, outside would probably be a good idea. You have two guns, which means someone's dead. Because you don't normally have two guns. Where is the dead person then? You've been roaming around for a while, I'm sure. Oh, there he is. Aha! We've located him. And he's got a bigger backpack and a rig for us. I love it. Drop all that. Get rid of that. I was going to say, I know there's got to be one around here if he's got that. These guys don't have uh, two guns on him. So there's got to be dead, more dead bodies. Nice. Manyatna. 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 More dead bodies. No, just the two. Okay. We got some upgrades, though. I'm happy with that. And somebody's dead over here. What's up, Scav? Do you see someone? Where, where, where? Gaga easy? Zopa, huh? I know you're angry, man. I can tell. Holy cow. Calm down, Scav. Okay, I got a little too excited. Get a little too excited. Got more dead bodies around. Ooh. I think the Thunderbolt has more room. It does. Drop that. I was debating on taking the, the sniper rifle or not. This scav just is off on some today. He's like, I see someone, man. Pay attention to me. Okay, that was actually a really nice find. Um, no, I think that's good enough. Another dead body. Uh, how much space is... I don't know how much space is actually. Well, it's going to take the whole thing. So, I mean, 3, 6, 9, 12. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. But I'd have to drop the Yushanka. Well, we're going to find more Yushankas anyway. We're going to take that instead. Well, not instead, but we're just going to take that with us. Well, at least we got a lot of dead bodies. This is really helpful. Need to find a couple wires, a couple bolts. I got to go to the computer still. The computers is the next section we need to go back to. There are a lot of items we need to get from the computers. Okay, nothing there. A gas analyzer, I don't need it at the moment. I got enough of those. We still got to sell a lot of the items from the last episode, too. Like, we have everything still left. I have not sold it. So we do need to... Kind of sort it. I mean, it's not really in importance at the moment. But we do need to do something soon. We can do this. Toss everything in here. Need the hose. Ну чё ж, курица уже неплохо, а? 
А вот тут друг мой бывал точно. Yeah. Man, you got a gold phone on you by any chance? Nah. Nah, I don't, man. Sorry. All good. Scab brethren! I had to think about that for a minute. I was like, do I have a gold phone on me? I don't think so. Oh, I need that Xenon. And I need that small. All right. Ooh. You know what? I'm I'm changing my decision on this. Yeah, I'm changing our decision on keeping this thing. So we gotta drop that. Drop that. Because I need the, the Xenon. It's gonna be part of the upgrade for the gym. And I need that. Anything else that I need here? No, I need to focus on computers. Because we are getting full up. So I need to be able to have room for the, the three CPU fans we need. And maybe some cheeky graphics cars, of course. I'd be very surprised if we can't actually find the CPU. I mean, there's a ton of computers here. Come on, we need the core. That's, oh, that's okay. Let's go with the back. Let's go to the back side and see if we can find them. Throw out the pieces here, then we'll call it. Heck tape. I'll probably drop in those three for them. Yeah. Although I do, sh I should look at doing some trades with some scabs though. That'd be a, f a fun thing to do. We also need to find bolts. They're missing a single bolt for the water collector. So we will definitely be watching out for that. Is there anything? Oh, okay, so someone's gone through these, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be a CPU fan. But that was a relay for a minute. Computers are literally empty. How much money is that in total? 50,000? Okay, they're just tossing parts in here, huh? Okay, yeah, sure. Alright, we're just tossing parts inside of PCs. I like it. We're looking at the scraps. It looks like all the scraps are taken. I know there's some more computers up front here, so we will check those. And then we can go to the back side. Or not backside, but the front side of Ollie to the back there, because there are a lot of computers. And then, yeah, I think that's going to be the last uh, straight of items that we're going to try to go for. Come on, a lot of hard drives, which I don't need the moment. I mean, they're good for backpacks, but I mean, I, I won't need those type of backpacks at all, since we're going to have access to a lot of bigger ones. Come on, get, let's get some type of luck from here. Caps. None of these computers have really had anything. I'm guessing someone's collecting the parts for the Bitcoin farm. And if that's the case, then we're gonna have to look on a different map for them. Oh, I need the salt. I need that salt. I didn't think I was actually gonna find it. Huh. Or like on this map, I should say. I, didn't, I thought I was gonna have to go over to like reserve and check all the food containers. That's really nice. That means we just gotta find a relay, and then we have the nutrition center unlocked, which is awesome. Don't need the motor, we've already got one of those. And it's only one specific for the time being. We'll need a few more of them for the upgrades on, I believe it's the generator. So it, we'll need them for the, late, for the later stages, but as of right now, we're good. We got a wrench, and then a shush. Which, yeah, we'll need the shush for later, but for now, we're good. Batteries as well. We need to look out for batteries, because we'll need those for some upgrades as well. And, of course, we need them for the repair task for, I believe it's Therapist, if I remember right. But let's go to the back side here, check the last couple items, and then we are out of here. Moving on to the next map. Looks like someone's been here. They got a uh, magazine on the ground, so I guess everything's been taken through here. I just want something to replace the, the well, the health there. So I'm not going to need it. But we need to, like I said, we need to find the last bolt. It's a good thing we're getting the wires and whatnot, because so we, we're going to need those anyway. Uh, is that Plex? or No, that's a magazine. Looks like they already picked up all the items they want and dropped everything they didn't want. There is an ammo box out here. Or not an ammo box, but a weapon grade. Let's go check that and see if there's any chance for a weapon or armor. 
let's check it out. I like the fact too that I got swords, and swords are my favorite ones to use. Oh, that's a really good item, actually. I'll drop all the wires. We're gonna find a ton of wires anyway, but that's a really good attachment. Could check the side as well. How much time we got left? Ten minutes? Yeah, we got a minute to check these. Give us something good. Or give us nothing at all. Oh wow, there's a lot in here. So no one even searched these. Okay, ooh. Aw. Oh. Tarkov, you weren't actually supposed to listen to me when I said I need good items. <laughs> I can't carry all this stuff. All right, let's look at what priorities. I don't need that. So we can toss that in there. I almost don't care about the money. So I'm actually going to toss the money because it's not, like I said, not very important. Keck tape I don't need for the time being. Stuff like this. I just want to have, like, throughout the, throughout the adventure, just grabbing... We're also gonna drop the other wire because I can craft more if I have to. I need to grab drop two more items. Light bulbs, since it's only a single, we'll come back for it. And T plug. We can go search through other stuff for that. So we'll drop that in there. Drop that. Take the helmet. I wanna take that. Okay, that's good enough for that. It's funny I was saying I was trying to look for like helmets and whatnot, and I found one. And we'll just see if there's any other decisions here. I know there's always going to be someone in the comments section that, you know, tells me I dropped the wrong item or I grabbed the right item. It's fine. You know, I'm making decisions on the fly of what I think is going to be more important to grab for the future and things that we need at the moment. So, that's just how the challenge goes. Sometimes I'm going to keep everything, sometimes I'm not. But let's head out, ladies and gentlemen, and let's head over to the next map, shall we? Actually, before we go into the next raid... I just realized something. Since we got ourselves that last save that we needed, we can turn our first task, the first task, which is turning in three sailor was. First task, 2000 XP gets us level two, which means it gets us. Oh, that's right. You have to actually go into a raid before it shows up. <laughs> I never mind. That's a joke. But 2000 XP, that's, that's no small defeat. I'm very happy about that. Okay, let's get money from that one. Very nice. And we get a bunch of medical supplies as well. That's awesome. I did not expect that, actually. Not at all. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to head over once we get the timer. Someone want me to show you guys the timer as well? Uh, yeah, it does take us a very long time in between the raids. So anytime I finish up a task, I'm literally waiting 25 minutes, 25 minutes in between each raid to be able to go to the next one. Now, the more we scav the better the gear we're going to get to. Right now we're at 0.24. Things like I need to do is kill scav players. Um, or not scav players, sorry. I need to kill players um, as a scav. I need to use the extracts with uh, PMCs if I can. So like tasks like that are going to be a priority for me. So there's a lot of stuff we need to focus on. So we're going to try to try do our best to make that happen. But that being said, we definitely are going to try in, as far as we can to optimize the ability to exit with players as well because it gets you like 0.24 every single time that's just a huge bonus for us now i want to get the start because that's going to take us three hours to get done we can still do the mop up thing here so we're going to look out for that fleece though i, I would rather get that done first because it takes like five minutes and then upgrade the full wall because i do believe you lose the option of this once that comes up so let's jump into the next raid and let's do this all right, reserve. Let's see if we can find the rest of the remaining items we need to at least move us forward towards the you know, inevitable gym workout. What have we got on us, by the way? No, nothing really good. However, I do need the hose. So actually, that's such a nice find. Let's get underneath and let's start doing some searching, shall we? We need a lot, a lot of items. What do you got for us? Nothing there. We need stuff like elite pliers. We're still need to find the TNT, but TNT is going to be probably like in tech spawns. So we'll also be looking out for that one. That'll probably be the hardest one we're going to be looking for. Grab a little bit of food so we can use up for the metabolism, of course. Wilstons. Got some apple juice and 
a magazine, apparently. Didn't know those were edible, huh? <laughs> we're also going to try to get the computer, so we'll go up top into, like, the, the school, which... Obviously, if we go to school, there's like two computers in a drop down you can get to. So we'll check those. It looks like, you know, actually, let's go through here. But there are a couple rooms here that we can actually search. And sometimes toothpaste spawns inside of here, so I need to check it. We need that toothpaste. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Now, we do, technically speaking, after we unlocked um, level two from turning in that therapist task. We technically speaking have now the ability to work on Gunsmith Part 1. Which we will be working on. So we do need to start looking out for some of the parts that are, are going to be required. Shouldn't be too difficult. We can get ourselves a uh, 133 shotgun very easily. And most likely we'll get like two elite pliers. Which will very greatly and also a screwdriver which will allow us to do the trade for the shotgun it's not much xp it's only like 800 xp which i have to go look to see how how much that would give us but it's definitely not gonna be enough i think i still need one more crouton i'll have to go look at our list i'm also building a list for you guys to like basically follow along on the journey so we keep a look out for that one i'll obviously announce it in one of the intros or like midway through an episode and that way you can kind of see our progress and what items we have versus what we still need it's a lot but it being a lot is the best part because it means i get to have a lot of enjoyable moments throughout this series all right we'll jump up top here then after this we'll check out the medical building as well i really wanted to come here because of all the different medical spots you come to and look for the toothpaste in them there's a good chance we'll find inside like one of the crates so we'll be searching literally everything. Don't need that. The more I can get, the more chances I have, the, or more things I search, the more chance we have for the toothpaste. So I'm searching literally everything and anything I can. I will take that. That's a good little grip. See if there's any tech spawns in the chair. There are not. Still got to find a relay, though. Relay that we can get the nutrition center upgraded. Screw nuts. Not exactly what we're looking for. Let's go down here. Like I said, I'm sure all this has already been looted, but we're specifically looking for the computers to search these up. See if we can get the CPU fans. And of course, tech spawns will have the, the CPU fans as well. So we'll search up like the queen building, the king building, and all that. Those will have the abilities, you know, chances of finding that too. We got a bottle of clava. Oh, look at that. One CPU fan down. Don't need that. That's an ace. Uh, hard drive. Don't need that. I think I do need another cord. So we'll hold on to it for right now. Got a scab with a giant backpack. Not that I'm going to shoot you, scab, but I kind of want that backpack. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want it. But I'm not going to risk my, my scab rep. So you get to live for now. Don't get that close. That Creeper. Creeper, back up. Okay. Oh, there's the other tool set we needed. Drop that. I'm gonna drop that up there. Get rid of the bandage. Nice. Okay. That's the other tool set we needed for the actual gym production. Ooh, someone shot off the GL. Let's see what we got inside of here. This is medical, so this does have the chance for the toothpaste. Come on, toothpaste, be in here. There's the soap, splints. Nope. Could start collecting like the splints and stuff too, but let's see if we can find a dead body first, which will most likely be down below. So we'll search for that in just a second. We need to find, and I need like a lot of stuff. Stuff like that I don't need, so I'm going to take stuff that's actually useful to us. Nothing there. Search the ground, search inside the box, of course, nothing. Toothpaste isn't going to be just sitting, like, here. It's, it's actually going to be one of the containers, but I'm just searching everything. Need that XP! What do we got? I got food. Pistola. I'll take that. And we'll go underneath. We got the trainer ready, huh? 
I'm surprised the train's already here. Well, Hachi, how much time we got left? Actually, 15 minutes makes sense. Now I, now I say that. I thought it was a lot earlier than that. Let's see. We got three options. No. Nothing there. All right, let's go underneath. Let's go check the medical crate down here and also look for some more supply space. Yep. Jump across. Look out for any players. We really haven't run to a lot of players. We had the, like the one interaction so far we've had was with the players in interchange. And we did a little bit of searching from, but we, we never actually found them, which sucked because I was really trying to, to hunt them down and get them. I was like, I really want you. No. Okay. Although, can I put that on my gun? I don't think I can. No, I cannot. All right, what kind of ammo is that? PRS. What's up, bro? We got some tech supply. Well, we got some stuff. I doubt there's going to be a TNT. However, if we get prepared, I'm going to take that screwdriver. Actually, let's eat up the food quickly. and then Because I, I, I want to take that, that uh, item with us. Because we're going to need that for probably, the, I believe, the next upgrade on the medical station. So there are a lot of items we need to start collecting. We'll just get a little bit of the metabolism going, I guess, right here. Find more weapons to search it up, search it up. Open sesame. Anything? Nothing. All right. I don't remember if there's computers down here now. Let's go check. I would assume. Oh, look at that. What were you rocking? You rocking five four five. Okay. No dead body. Neither one of them had really good like things for us, so that sucks. Oh, another player. At least we get a ton of XP for it. We get a, a decent amount of XP for everything. We we're probably gonna have to end up going through filing camps again. We're sort of trying to avoid it for the time being, because like even though it has to be done, uh filing cabins are not the most fun thing to go through. We can all agree on that. Oh, hello. Okay. Security, you know, that's smaller than what I'm wearing right now. Man, they just took everything. Search it up, search it up. What about around the corners? Any bodies over here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like most of the fighting was going in that direction, inside the offices. Got a hat, why not? I, actually, I can't wear the hat at the same time. We'll just take it for the time being. We got another scab there. We'll go up top. Maybe there's some some bodies up top. We're also gonna go like, to the Black Knight and whatnot because there's a couple bathrooms there too that I do ha believe have a chance for the two paces as well. So we'll go search all of that too. We'll check the bags, of course. Kind of funny, the last three scabs we've had have had a horrible space. No space whatsoever. But hey, that's part of the game. We can just have to hope that we find some good. What's this gonna be? Another tool set, huh? Well, I don't have the space for it. Otherwise, I'd probably take it. So you're lucky. You're lucky, bag. You get to keep your valuables. Let's go search through here. See if there's a CPU on the ground somewhere. It is getting dark, though. I think I picked the night night time. Whoops! <laughs> Wasn't thinking about it. Oh, there, there is, there is actually a room. I believe it's the White Knight has a ton of computers in it. So we'll go over there next and check that. Nothing on the ground. Okay, so nothing as far as tech inside here. So we'll go. Actually, what's our exit? I should keep an eye on that as well. We got man. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the hermetic door, the depot hermetic door. All good, all good. It's an easy one to escape through. Cause we're moving that direction anyway. Sort of want to go check the 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 safe down below, and also the safe up top by the dome. Which yeah, we'll do that first before we go over to the to the to the black or black knight and also the white knight. 
because I need to see if we can find the topical map as well because there's a chance of finding inside the safes as well so let's head up to the dome it's already been open but we'll check it anyway yeah didn't expect to have anything found in there door's not open we can go check down below first nine minutes I should be able to get down below check for anything that may have gotten left I'm basically going to check the safe the power wasn't on so no one could actually use d2 we'll check that on the way back up so no one's able to take d2 anyway so I'm gonna guess that no one actually decided to go that direction so we're gonna go check the safe down there check all the other tech, tech spawns and then rush to get towards the exit because diamonds left is not the most but I'm gonna give it a try because I think this will work out pretty good dang it it's all been looted 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 well that was the risk I was taking um we could quickly check open this up check that that's already been opened and then we'll check back here oh there's the relay we need we'll take that let's eat this up we'll take that and then we'll start heading towards the white knight we ended up finding a cat in the duffel bag down below i just figured i'd show that so in case anyone was confused while we had that okay six minutes remaining we should have no problem searching the white knight quickly to see if there's a chance for any of the cpu fans and then after that careful scab you're gonna hurt yourself bro ow i hurt myself but we'll, we'll go check those out. Maybe we'll find something there. I'm gonna check this double bag too. I feel like double bags will have a good chance of finding the, the toothpaste as well. That's why I wanted to make sure I check all those. But we're gonna check out the chance for CPUs. You have a bigger rig than I do? Eh, yeah, kind of is. Eh, nah. Oh, there's another dead body. Bodies everywhere. Of course, you guys have nothing on you because you're either hatcher running or they stole everything from you. Oh, yeah, yay. Although, I'll take your knife, though. Because you got a better knife. Another dead body. Take that one instead. This is a player. It was a player. I couldn't even tell in the darkness if this was a player or not. Although, I should have known this by the PPSH. With it being like perfect condition, obviously it's gonna be from a player. Uh, oh, all right. Remember that's there. We can find a dead body with a bigger backpack before we go. We can take that battery. But it's all whether or not we get lucky. So there's a chance that we just may not be able to take it, and we'll just have to find some batteries in the future. But let's go to the third store. Oh no, no, I'm in the wrong building. Wrong, right, right, wrong building? Yeah, wrong building. Gotta go to the other one. Quickly! Go across the way. Black Knight's got all the computers in it. I always get confused by that. So it looks like no one's even touched this place. So we'll search all of these computers. We need two more CPU fans. So I'm gonna have to find stuff to drop. Got that. RAM. Again, this all depends on whether or not we find it or not. Let's just hope that we find one. Okay. Come on, CPU fan. Double CPU fan right here. Well, since I'm here, I'm going to search up this, this, this filing cabinet. Maybe we find something good. Not too bad the items we've got so far. Honestly, interchange is probably going to have 99.999% of the stuff that we need. As much as it's it, it's sad for me to say that because I, I don't want to go the same map over and over. We kind of have to. Because that map does like supply you pretty much everything you need. Hey, level 3 strength. Nice. So we'll have to go back there again at some point. I think we'll do one other map. And then we'll head over back to interchange again to try to get our, get our supply of everything we need. Three minutes left. It should only take me about 30 seconds to get to, to the exit. There is a computer that we did miss up here. Because I ran backwards and forgetting where I was. So we'll check the computer up here. Maybe it's got a CPU fan in there. I will take 
a single CPU fan and not the plug or nothing. I will take nothing and I'll be happy with it. Condensed milk. What else you got inside of here before we head out? There's something there. Mag and a gun. We got a flare. A green flare. Well, it's not going to do much good. Can't really exit anywhere with a scab throughout here. Plexiglass and metal parts. I do need the metal parts. Drop that. We'll take the metal part. We'll jump down below here, see if there's anything on the tables that we may have may have been missing. But I know this is like a workbench area. Nothing on there, nothing up top. I don't want to, I don't have time for the cabinets, otherwise I would check those. Is there anything inside here? It's gotten very dark. Very, very dark. Spooky! And jump down here, check this box, and then we're gonna get the heck out of here. Come on, something good before we leave. Wires. Nothing good. Although there was nothing very exceptional about the items we got, they're definitely going to help us out towards the progression. So I can't be horribly mad about that. Plus the relay, that means we have unlocked the nutrition center. So that's a positive. Let's keep going. Let's see what we can find. I know we're trying to get the same stuff we were trying to get before. We're trying to get like wires, bulbs, CPU, fans, whatnot. So let's keep searching for them. We need to get a ton of different things. Plus, I also came here mostly because there's like, there's a really like big area you can get a bunch of different tech loot, like, like an industrial area. So we're gonna head that way as well. But we also need to try and get a bigger bag. Oh, there's a bigger bag. Yeah, look at that. That was easy. Shh. Easy, easy. Got guy easy. Unless we can get something bigger too. That'd be kind of nice. Let's keep searching. And get these goals accomplished. If for the love of God, give me some toothpaste, please. Just some easy toothpaste. I do believe we're actually next to the, the technology area. It's like right here. Right? Yeah, this is the industrial area. Let's we'll start here. Should be a crate inside. Yes. Wait, is that a... Is that what I think it is right there? We'll look at that in a second. Got a hose. Hose, the hose, the hose. Metal parts, need those. We'll hold off on that one. Troll, okay. So that's gotta be like the version of Monopoly. Trollopoly. Okay, I like it. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's the, that's the first time I've ever seen that. Apple juice and Riptide. Don't need the Riptide. Now, if we don't find the toothpaste this time on streets then we'll most likely well not even most likely we're gonna be going over to interchange because i have a plan then to try and find it i won't go over that just yet but we do have a plan a tape okay 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 but the industrial area here should have like a ton of stuff for us i know there's like a there's one underneath here right like a hidden stash oh, come on let me under search it up search it up what we got? Yeah, diary. Ooh, there's the matches we needed. So that's the rest area done for us. SJ6. All right, we'll take that. Oh, is that a bigger bag? I think it's a, a bigger vest. It is. Okay, we'll take that instead. Could take both, technically. So what, three, six, nine, two, four, six, eight, ten. So it's one extra. Why not? We'll take it. We'll take it. And if we feel like we don't need any more, we can always drop it. Granted, we do need it for a quest way down the road. Don't need those. Now, I will say, even though we do have the 133 shotgun, which obviously we want to do the gunsmith part one, I want to still try to get the elite pliers, get the screwdriver and whatnot, because we're going to need it anyway, just due to the simple fact that that shotgun has a lot of items for us. Like, it has, like, the plastic part that we're gonna need for it. Like, the plastic, I forget the name of it, but there's a plastic part from that we need from it. But it's an even bigger rig. Alright, we'll take that too. How much space does this take up? That's 4, 8, 12, 16. This has got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 
Got that. I thought I died there for a minute. Oh my god, that scab scared me. <laughs> he, he pushed me, so I thought it was like something trying to attack me. I'm gonna do like this for now, and then if we have to, is this the whole dice? Actually, we need that later too. If we have to, we can always swap out the rigs. Like if we get something bigger, that requires a little more space. Alright, what do you got for us? I need some TNT as well. I need that for security, but I also need to get endurance up too, so it's not exactly the priority. So once, cause once, once we get the gym unlocked, we'll focus on that first. Some duct tape, spark plug. Anything else in the rubble here? I don't see anything. Scabs are just following me. Nothing in the desk. Nothing down there. Got some batteries. So yeah, there's a lot of things we need to collect. Which was obvious. We do we obviously know we need to collect a bunch of stuff anyway. Whoop. It's not gonna work. Can't do that. Is there anything else inside? Actually, this is the one this is the one we just were in, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, because there was the fuel. Well no, this is different. Well, I'm never seeing you. I'm gonna take the half mask though, because we do need those. Swap out the knife. We'll need that one. Okay, it was different. Alright, we got a few things that we needed. We checked you. We just came from this direction. Okay, let's go the other way. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and try to find a couple computers to see if we can find the last CPU needed. Oh no, this is where we just came from. I'm getting turned around. I need to go this way. But yeah, we're gonna check the computers quickly. And the place will probably do that. It's actually the apartments. There's an, the apartment over there that we have searched before in the past. It probably has a computer or two we can look, look for and then also some other loot that we can take. I also need to check you. Because the dead bodies also have a chance for a toothpaste. Not this time, though. No. Not this time. Let's stop here by the tram as well. Let's search all the bodies here. But there's also a, med a medical crate there we can check. But these bodies have a chance for stuff as well that we need. So just search everything. Search everything. Plus we can get the search skill up too, which we need to do anyway. It's in there. My guess is most players are by the dealership right now. So we're not gonna bother them too much. I'm not keeping the action X effects because that one's not good. Come on, two face be inside here. Mm, no, we got a syringe though. I'll take it. Then we're gonna go over here because there's still more bodies. Oh, this is an actual body. <laughs> Didn't even realize that at first. Just switch to fire mode. Looks like it's a regular. Right, actually, that's a player scab, probably. Got something. Glasses, why not? Okay. I kind of want to get ahead of him. And if he's already searched all those crates, I'm not going to worry about checking those then. Let's head over this direction. Falling behind him. Just me, dude. Don't worry about me. I'm no threat to you, other than loot, maybe. I am a threat to you because I want the loot, but beyond that, I'm not really a threat. No, I don't need that. Did he check this? I'm guessing he did. There are computers inside of here. So let's check these computers. How much space we got left? We got two big spots left. Wires. That's the last wire we need. Is there any? Oh, there is one other. I thought there was more PCs in here than that. Oh, there's there's one more. And they've all been checked. Okay. Ooh, fleece. Need that. Okay, that's cool. Then we can you can get the other part mopped up for the defensive wall. And that'll be the last thing we need to do until. We wait for the defensive wall to finish. Granted, also, this is kind of like an hour or two after, or 
the area. So it's about an hour or two after the last raid, so there is a little bit of like in between time. So <laughs> it has actually been a while, or a little bit of like time in between pass. So there's a chance that it's almost finished. He's gonna check the good loot. We'll just pass him up then. Let him have it. More fuel. I already have a ton of fuel on me. We'll skip it for now. I think one fuel can for now is enough. That really is something I need. HP rounds. We'll check the top floor. Might as well. Let's see if we can get what we're looking for. Oh, jackets. Come on, jackets. Give us what we need. I, didn't, I have to check the exits too. I didn't check those. We got entrance catacombs, sh mine shaft, or sorry, mine shaft, ventilation shaft, and also the manhole. Okay. Open the bedroom tape. We can definitely work with those exits. I just gotta get some good stuff, please. Metal parts. Ooh, PC, PC, come on. Come on, CPU fan. Caps, okay. We'll search up the rest of it in here. I don't think anything actually spawns inside this room. That's what we're taking, I should say. Nothing in there. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go. Hopefully this guy doesn't shoot me in the head on accident. Just me, dude. Don't worry. We're going to go check the back room. Like little, like, small, small cubby room over here. There may be something over there. Open sesame. Ah, it was loud. Ow. My ears. Come on. Light bulb. There's one light bulbs we need. Grab some light bulbs and wires. We can easily find energy. I'm not like extremely needing those. But, you know, if it's in front of us, we might as well take it. Especially when we need it, you know. But we need to get a few other things. We need more metal parts for sure. Got some there. We'll check these real quick. But we need more metal parts. Uh, we're gonna need one more bulb and one more wire. Actually, wires I think we may be good on. Bulbs I think that we need one more. And then we got the last hose right here, which is good. We got the xenon already. We have the tool set with the duct tape. So yeah, if if it's almost finished up, we should have the gym prepared and ready to go for us, which is awesome. I'm actually very happy about that. And the last two, and then we'll keep moving. And nothing. Well, that's convenient. That's a little convenient, don't you think? Yeah, we might as well check that. Yes, exactly. Let's get it, brother. Let's get it. That's very convenient. <laughs> Stepped out the door and it's like, it's right here. Yeah. Ooh, we got a weapon one. Okay. So we'll get a second ahead of him, which is good. Mm, we'll need that. I'm also gonna see what we if we can need anything for like the shotgun coming up. We'll need that. Guns are gonna show up. Definitely taking that. Let him have that. Um. Yeah. Do I have any scopes for this? 
No, but I had it. Oh, no, I need the other part for it. What? This could go on there. Yeah, this could go on there. And it's got some M80s. I mean, there's no scope, so it's not like I'm going to use this. I'm going to switch over the shotgun for now. This is full, and I can use it for a little bit. I think it's almost time to head to the exit, though. It's like the last couple. I wish I had more computers on here, but it's fine. We're going to go over to interchange after this, and we're going to get all the parts that we need. And a lot more. Because, like I said, I have a plan for interchange for what we're going to do. Alright, we'll search up the construction site a little bit here. Got that. Need that. I'm very surprised I have not found any TNT at all. Looks like those are just, just AI scav. Let's search this up. I want to get rid of this other stuff that I don't really need just so I can oh. oh what a shame what a shame the wrong toothpaste oh that's so that's so unfortunate gosh I was almost excited about that. I saw that and I'm like immediately my brain is like nope that's the wrong kind <laughs> you don't need that one come on TNT right here the third one but it's a hose, and we'll need that for upgrades anyway. I'm surprised I haven't found the bolts. I am a nuisance that we haven't found any more bolts. I need one more to get the water collector going. Well, this does open. Kind of want to search around this whole place real quick and see if there's a chance to find that last bolt. If not, then obviously we'll put all of our luck ever over on interchange. Nothing there. I got something. Oh, okay. Sure. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, well, you know what? I'll take the drink as well. We'll eat this up. Get that metabolism worked up a little bit more. And we'll drop that mag. The chimbly chom, chim chim chom, yes. Alright, we'll check the rest of this place. There's also a dead scab in here, so he could have the toothpaste we're looking for. But also trying to find everything else. I also need, I need to find a plastic grip. Like a, like a pistol, a plastic pistol grip. I do believe I need that for the shotgun quest. So, if I can find that, it'll be a little bit easier for us in the end. Reserve is probably going to be a really good place for us to go, though. A lot of parts just laying around. That's completely empty. We'll check upstairs. Sometimes these scabs do, do frighten me a little bit. I'm like, all right, are you going to attack me for no reason? Because it feels like you're about to. But no, they're just, they're doing their normal routes. Take that. Sure. I'll take that for now until we find something more useful. So you all weapon crates up here, which again, not complaining. Weapon crates or weapon crates. There's a few more places in at the end by the court uh, courty that we'll check anyway. Check these. And drop the rubles as well. You know what? Put that on there. That there, that there. Can we take the suppressor? Got another one. I don't think this box opens, but we'll check. Ooh. Anything that I want to remove for that? Don't not don't need to. You just do that. Oh, this does open. Nice. It's a toolbox too. Okay. And the ES lamp. Okay. I believe that's everything here at the construction site that I care about. So let's keep moving on. Thermometer, some duct tape. 
Drop the tea ammo for that. And... We'll drop that. I already have a bunch of half masks. Uh, we'll take this and this and move it. Put that thermometer in there. And then there's like two more spots I want to check. There's like one weapons crate and then one toolbox I want to check. Which they should all be right here in this little corner. Nope. And you. Okay. Let's call that good. Let's get all this dropped off and then let's head over to interchange. Hey, this is good spawn. This is kind of where we wanted to be anyway. We wanted to be outside, so let's go start on the left-hand side. Check out the ones that we... I'm probably not going to go towards anyway, because we're going to probably take Emrecom out. But let's go over here and check these first. And then we can make our way backwards, hit the ones up in front of Ollie, and kind of skirt around. If we don't end up finding any of the stuff that we're looking for, then we're obviously going to go inside the mall and finish up. There are a couple items I need to go inside the mall for. Mainly, like, I need to get another bulb, another wire, and then I believe that's it, and then we got the gym ready to go. Also, I'd like to just point out another shotgun again. I, I don't know what Tarkov's trying to tell me, but it just is like, hey, I know you really like shotguns, which I don't, but apparently Tarkov's telling me that, hey, we're going to give you shotguns for the rest of the day. Hope you enjoy. That last one had a hose in it, which I guess I can't be mad about. Like we've been saying we're going to need hoses anyway, so hose me up. I lied about it. There was three of them. There's still this one and the one at the other end. I, I don't know what to count, apparently. Let's get this all moved around. I actually don't even need more than that. Just take everything. Just to get the XP for it. And my only concern is, is that we're going to end up having a whole, like, episode dedicated to this toothpaste. <laughs> Not that I'm saying it's going to happen. It probably won't happen, but... I remember... I think it was the last hardcore season we did. I believe it was a hardcore season. Where the whole episode was literally dedicated to the toothpaste because I could not, for the life of me, find a dang thing. And I finally found it. Oh, it brings back memories. Alright, you've got to have something good, right? Something good. Ooh, we got some stuff. We got a teddy bear. And the relay that we needed. Cool. Which means, with that, we got the nutrition center. Very cool. I'm happy with that. That's two things upgraded so far. Well, I guess technically this is... No, this is three things. Three things down in the hideout that are going to be upgraded. Let's make it a fourth, shall we? And this one's here. Yeah, it's underneath. Come on, toothpaste. More wires. Can't really complain about that. So, since we got to this location, the thing we're going to do is we're going to hit up the one, we got like one, two, three more in a row, and then we're going to go into Ali, and then go through the mall a little bit, grab what we need, and then probably on the way out, we'll hit up the last two that are by like the little campsite. There's a, uh, there's a good chance we can find this thing. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a low tier item, toothpaste is, so it, it should frequently show up inside of these, inside of these hidden containers. So, that's why I'm betting on this. This one's here, yep. I can throw the wall away so that nothing actually inside that. We got some sword ins. Very nice. Gotta throw away this, though. Let's take that. This is a flash grenade, but hey, we'll get some strength from it. Ha! Look away. You gotta have something, right? You got three items, okay. Apollos. And a flare gun. Why not? We'll keep the flare gun. It's a little souvenir is the way I can look at it. But we just gotta get the, the one thing we're looking for. I'll take some splints too, sure. Alright, the last one that we're gonna hit, and then we're going straight into Ollie. Again, we got three items. Or two. Humpback. Sure. I'll take that. We can sell that. Eat up some humpback quickly. Now we're going to go try to get the last light bulb that we need, and then we're also going to look for the bolts, because we need a bolt to do the water collector. So let's go get it. 
Exactly. Exactly, Scab. Doesn't look like it was a player because no one else was, or none of the AI Scab were reacting to him. Where are the CPU fans? Obviously, we're going to check the computers too, but I'm also hoping that we'll find it through here. Not a single item actually in here. Um, Rasmussen first, and then we'll go up the escalator. Here, movement. I don't know if that's below us or above us. Adapter. Nothing behind that. I'll take the T plug for now. All right, unless we're going up. All right, tech light. You got the stuff for us, right? Yeah, you do. We got one CPU fan and we need one more. And I'll sold light bulb. And on that one, that's another T-plug we could take. Anything on the top doesn't look like it. Is that a regular? Oh, it is. It's a regular LCD screen. I will take you. Gas analyzer, do not need you. Okay, so at least we got one of the CPU fans. We need one more. And then that's completed. We can go check the computers down the alley while we're looking for the bolt. I was amazed at how big this map is. It doesn't seem because I most of the time, if you think about it, like your your view is like this which is bad you should never you should never do that by the way your view should always be like straight ahead in case you need to fight someone but for the majority part like when we when we're playing this game we're usually looking down for all for all the looting purposes but yeah you look up man this place is just ginormous a lot of space a lot of good space to move through I'm really immersive oh butchki See if this one's gonna have it for us. It looks like there's stuff inside the computers this time, which is nice. At least that one did. It had the wires. Oh boy. I may be talking too soon because <laughs> now I'm not finding anything. Someone's already come through here, but we're going to still check it anyway. Nothing there. We got less than 10 minutes. Ooh. Okay, so someone's been through here. There's a Xena on the floor. Relax. <laughs> yeah, I may just skip this considering there's stuff on the ground. But I feel like if I, I, feel like if I just skip it, it's going to be bad. Oh, also, I wanted to mention, uh, the other fleece that we picked up actually didn't need it. Turns out the other fleece was actually not needed because the, the floors were already mopped up. Thought for some reason you needed two, but apparently you only need one. So the the defensive wall is actually ready to go. It's already uh, set to be ready to be put up. Or torn down. Yeah, torn down, not put up. So it's, it's ready to go. Get players. Somebody's searching that computer. We'll let him have that one. Since he's there, let's go towards the back here of Ollie and check to see if maybe the computers over there have something. <laughs> I'm also going to check you for anything I need, which doesn't look like you do. We'll start bomb. Why not? All right, someone has been in here. Dang, man, we're just not getting lucky on the timing for checking computers. Not good, not good. But we gotta check him anyway. Also need to get some fluids in me because I'm noticing that it's starting to go down. Luckily, there's food everywhere. There are still computers I can check, so I'm, I'm not like, I'm not down and out just yet. I can check a couple more of the offices. And then while I check those, I can also go to the back of, uh, the back of Goshen, which is where I wanted to go anyway. So we need to find some elite players back there. 
We got seven minutes to do all this. Well, technically we've got we've got like six minutes, and then we have like a minute and a half to get out. So we gotta push it. Zoom. All right, can we get lucky with what we're trying to find? Check the bag first. Hope for the cheeky toothpaste to be in there. We got nails. PRS. Check these computers. Oh, I got something. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at just that then, and we're gonna keep moving then. Guys, I only got six minutes left to check for some elite players. I'm gonna check the bag here again. Hope for the chance. Maybe we can find. Nope. Check that for another weapon. Yeah, another weapon, maybe. Oh, nope. Nope, it was a weapon. SKS. Sadly, there was no other scabs with backpack or any dead scabs for that matter anyway. So we're just gonna have to keep searching through. I'm gonna start on start the other end. Start, start on the other end anyway, because I gotta move towards Emercom, so. This will give me a little bit more time to work with. Five minutes should be enough to get to the back side of the mall. Enough time to search every single item that we're looking for. I'm just gonna drop the medical stuff early on. Gosh, more fuel. I'm gonna take it for now. Drop the nails, I don't need those at the moment. Drop that, put that there. Turn it, take it. So tenant, they don't need the fuel, but never hurts to have the extra, you know? Just to have it ready for us at any time. Just check the back side, we got some defuel. Drop the... I'm gonna drop the attachments now. Now that I see there's actually stuff, I'm gonna drop it and just be ready for it. There's a good chance we could find what we're looking for. The pliers, are, they're not really that... Uh, they're not really, like, that rare. So we may find them. Come on, come on, come on. Even the bear I probably don't even need. I mean, it's nice having for the extra bit of money, but... I mean, we've got more than enough items that we got to sell as it is that technically are probably worth more than the bear right now. And I'm making that executive decision right now. Dropping the bear. Check inside this. Come on, give it. I've got to push it though. After I finish this room, got to start pushing towards the exit. I think I see elite pliers right there. Got some squash. And I got a fuse. Oh no. I'll take those though. Alright, let's get our butt moving. We got three minutes. We're gonna spend like at least another minute down here. So I am pushing it. We're gonna have to skip the We're gonna have to skip the other uh, hidden stashes. But that's that's fine. It's the price we have to pay. We are definitely pushing this. I, I gotta move it. I dropped the shotgun since I don't need another one. Hammer, don't need you. Go, 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 go! I'm just gonna check the free open slots. Or items, I should say. Another one of those. Quick, quick, quick decisions, quick decisions, drop it. Search along the edges. Elite flyer, there it is. Drop that. And there's one. We need a lot more than that. And unfortunately, I need to skip the other thing because we got two minutes and I gotta make my, all, my way all the way to the exit. And I'm gonna make sure I have time. Because you never, there may be a person down here that I'm about to fight. Looking at time, we'll have enough, enough to get out and uh, without having to worry too much. We're gonna do one more raid. We're gonna, we're gonna get a fifth raid in for this episode. I really want to push the envelope and see what else we can find. I still gotta find, like I said, the toothpaste. I gotta find TNT. I still gotta find that bolt. And the bolt is just the strange one to me that we're not finding. So we're gonna give that another look over one more time. Maybe, just maybe, we can get a lot of different things upgraded for this episode. 
So let's get out of here. Move on to the next one. All right, reserve, be good to us. We got one more run with you. Let's make it a good one. I'm just really hoping to find that last bolt and then pretty much anything else we can get our hands on. And honestly, like the only thing we really need is the toothpaste. I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. Well, well, toothpaste and bolt. Those are the two items that we're looking for. After that, then we're going to be ready for like the next step of items we need to get for the hideout. But that's pretty much the focus point. Plus, I'm kind of happy I got the shotgun because I need, I'm pretty sure I need the GK02 for the upgrade shotgun. So we will definitely be holding on to this one. Oop, let me up. However, even though we got the one elite, like uh, the elite pliers, we still got to find two more. Because we need we need two more to be able to get the actual shotgun from mechanic, so we'll be still focusing on you know locating those ones and anything else we can get our hands on. Uh, four, five, and six. Oh, nope, I wanted that actually. Give me the diary. Thank you, thank you. We got a lot of a lot of items too in the in the hideout or not the hideout the stash that we need to clear out. I didn't even have enough room inside the scav container. So I ended up having to put in like one of the backpacks. So we're doing pretty darn good, I would say. But uh, yeah, we gotta clear these items out. We'll clear out some of these slugs. That should be good enough. All right, let's keep going. Is there anything else in here? There's a couple of containers. We'll open those up. This looks like it's it for here. Drop that. Ooh, a hammer. Take that. Wait, can I take that and put the hammer on it? No, I can't. Get ammo, that's T ammo. I need you. Okay. We can jump down. Should be a tool case or two yeah, tool set no tool case in here. There it is. Keep searching all that. Just a scav. Search up everything in here. We'll go to the third floor as well. Third floor's got some okay stuff we can search. Search all this. And then Jack as we'll check, of course. Um, I read a comment, I think it was like I think it was like a day or two ago. Someone's like, Well, you keep passing all these jackets, you know, you have a chance to find all the keys in there. Um I've actually not been finding a lot of keys and jackets. I've been finding them more in like the filing cabinets, which is weird. I thought it was kinda of funny. I'm like, okay, I'm not finding it there, but I'm finding the one place that I probably shouldn't be finding it. But hey, I get, they, they definitely change up the, the method of where you can find stuff. Yeah, look at another CP fan. Just take it for the XP. I feel like it shouldn't be this difficult to find the last bolt, though. We'll just keep searching and at some point it's got to turn up. Anything else over here? Take the drink, I guess. Got a save the wall. We'll take that for some healing. Get rid of that one for now. What you got for us? A suppressor. Sure. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right. Do, 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 all the searching. All right. I think that's all I want to search inside of here. Looks like someone's gone through this already, but we'll check it in anyway. Because, you know. How it goes. People leave stuff behind all the time. Got vodka over there, but we don't need that. It's crackers. Wonder where we could really check to find the item we're looking for. I mean, bolts. I feel like should be easy to find. I mean, it's not like they're the most I don't know, hard to find items. So they should be pretty relatively easy to find. Oh, this guy had some stuff on. Alright, we'll just transfer all this stuff over there, take the bigger rig. Can't never say no to that. And we can actually start using sail was, because you know, we're in raid now and we just keep using those because we already turned into three for the task for shortage. Check this one. Light bulb, nice. Let's stick that over to the side for now. 
the star I need the key for. I know there's some loot over here in this corner. We'll check this. Uh, nothing today, apparently. <laughs> uh, check the box. All right. And we got the bathroom here. Ooh, train. Hello, train. Player in there. Third floor. Oh, someone's already gone through this. Okay. Well, let's not waste our time then. Let's keep going. Um, underground, maybe? Maybe the next place we go to? Yeah, I think we go underground next. Before we go down, there's a couple rooms in here I do want to check. Like the one specifically over here. Is this door open? It does. We'll check that too. Sometimes these shelves have stuff for you as well. Mm, we got cabinets in here as well. We could check those. I think we will. Because if we're not gonna find any loose like bolts, then we'll check them we'll check the cabinets then. Since there's so many, we might as well take the time for a moment. Give our sense a chance to be able to find it. Come on. Matches. Metal parts. I know there's another set over here. I believe it's in this room. Ooh. Uh, nothing we're looking for. Okay, keep searching these. Yeah, because I, like I said, I know bolts can, can spawn inside the filing cabin, so you might as well check all of it. Just for the better chance of finding the thing we're looking for. Alright, up in there. Alright, let's go down to the basement. Actually, no. First floor first. This is second. Actually, did they check that? I looked the door. They did. Okay. There's another set of filing cabinets over here and also a toolbox. Got a batteries. Let's check these as well. You could probably go through this place for a very long time and find all the cabinets. I mean, this, I feel like reserve and also. Going over to Streets of Tarkov. Those are the two places to go for filing cameras because there's just so many of them. So you have a high chance of finding stuff. Oh, no, I don't want that. Give me back. Give me. Thank you. That's a little bit more money there. I don't need the cord. Although I am getting paranoid as, like, thinking that I do actually need that. I'm gonna hold on to it for now because again that paranoia feeling where I'm like, wait, did I actually grab the cord? I don't remember. And screws. Okay. To the basement. Oh, we get we got stuff in here too. Matches. We got a water filter. In relay. Don't need any of that. We'll need some relays for the generator later on later on, but we need a lot of stuff to be able to get that. Like a lot of levels. Put a pistol just sticking out. What is that? Oh, that's a shotgun. It's weird. I can't grab it. Huh. What do you got? Sure. We'll take that. Don't need the respirator. We'll take the half mask instead. Got a normal knife on me. And a helmet. Need any of that? A lot of dead scouts down here. We'll check all of these cabinets. Hopefully, no one's gone through all this stuff. <laughs> that would be fun going through every single one of these and finding out. Oh, they're just all empty because someone's already searched them. Just kind of looking like that. Check these. I also need to check my exits as well. Is we may else oh, well cool that we found screw nuts, but I need the other things. Let's eat this, check our exit points. We've got okay, so we got a few places. We'll check probably the checkpoint fence out. Ten minutes left. Wow, we didn't really even get a lot of time in this raid. I was realizing that we got a really short amount of time. Chargeable battery. Salt. I already got one, so we're good on that. 
bolts. Looking for that bolts. It's probably the first time in forever that it it would take me this long to find a bolt. I feel like that's one of the items I always find. Another diary. Let's drink this up and then we can take it. We're gonna be in the dollar bills in a minute with all these diaries. Take that. That should be all of them there. Got another rig. It's actually a bigger rig. We'll take that too. Grab all that. Take that. And sign that again. Hello. Bigger backpack. Sure. Drop it off. Carry more things now. Train's about to leave. Can take everything at this point since we got extra room now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Two bills. And that's, like I said, not necessarily this has to be finished this episode. We have a lot of, lot of episodes coming up in the future anyway, so there's more opportunities to be able to grab what we're actually looking for. But we'll just take everything we can. Oh, that's the rat poison. Sure, I'll take that. Check the body for the XP. Alright, eight minutes. Whoa! Tarkov, you're having some connection issues, man. Calm down. <laughs> Holy cow, look at the pack of loss on that. Never had that before. All right, let's um, let's go underneath. We're gonna basically do a big loop. Go underneath, and then we'll make our way back up and head over the checkpoint fence. But that pack of loss is making me a little nervous. So I wanna I wanna kind of push it a little bit towards the exit. Because if it's gonna be like that, uh, we don't want to like randomly crash and not be able to get back in time. Anything down here? Oh, there's a helix. Don't leave the helix behind. Take him with us. I believe that's everything here. So someone's been here. Doors are all open. That's obvious. I'm sure this has all been searched as well. Yep. I'll check back here at this corner. Alright. I'm going to check all the toolboxes quickly. See someone didn't check them. And then that way, if they haven't been, then boom. We get a lucky chance, maybe, of finding that, the bolts. But not that one, though. We got, what, three of them up top, I believe? Three of them, and then we can move up. Oh, this, is, this is seeming like they've all been searched. And then the last one. All right. Let's go. Couple items here. Oh, okay. They're not actually bad items. We'll take those. A little bit extra money. We're not leaving with the empty bag, so that's good. I think about there may be enough time to actually go check the filing cabinets next to the exit. This was not open? This is strange. Oh, it probably was. It just, they took everything, closed the door afterwards. Five minutes. Yeah, we got enough time to check these. I highly doubt the person checked all these. Because it is a lot to go through. Come on. A lot of duct tape. But the junk will come to use later on. Drink this up. We'll take the ice lamp with us. Get that metabolism up. Love it, love it, love it. Boom. Three more to go. 
Hey, there's the bolts. I knew we'd find them. Just knew we had to take a little bit of time to find them. Eventually, we did. All right. Let's get out of here. It's a little rainy out. <laughs> it's so loud. I heard the rain trickling down. We were going between the, the white night and the black night. And I just had a feeling it was going to start downpouring. Luckily, it's the last raid of the episode, though, that which means I don't have to worry about the crazy rain sound. It may be already time to actually invest in a extra scab case. I feel like we may need to do that. But before I do all that, actually, before I do anything else, let's focus on the wall first. Break down that wall. And then the next thing we got to do is install this. That's going to take us 12 hours. 12 hours. Now, we got to go... Scroll, scroll, scroll. It's not going to be unlocked anytime soon, but I think I can take a look at the gym early on. Huh. Maybe not. Defensive wall, air filter. Oh, no, I should be able to. Where's it at? Did I pass it already? Because I feel like I'm not seeing gym. Maybe it doesn't pop up till the gym's actually activated. Oh, that's a little weird. Flip it around the other angle. I can't see it. I can't see it from here. Yeah, it must not be available for you to actually get until you unlock the next door. Because oh, we enter. We can technically open it. It's not, yeah, that's right, because it's not built yet. So we gotta wait for this to get done, and then it should show up right there in the corner. So we got a little bit of time. But until then, let's get upgraded with the vents. Three hours for the vents. Water collector. Two hours for that. Nutrition. That should be instant, yep. Very nice, very nice. Rest area. Let's get that installed as well. And we're gonna need a lot of levels for the next couple upgrades. Uh, and then, of course, the lavatory. The lavatory, we're still looking for that toothpaste. We'll get it, though. It'll take a little time, but once we find it, it'll be good. Things looking pretty good so far. Pretty happy with the, the progress we've got going. But we need to find that elite plier. Why is it telling me I don't have an elite plier? Did one of these require elite plier or something? I swear we picked up an elite player. That's trippy. Let's do a refresh on this. I cleared out a lot of items. Now, I can quickly go talk to therapist though. Go to sell. I can open this up and we can sell all of these goodies we don't need anymore. Like all the tea, Let's sell these. Sell every single one of those. What else do we not need? Kind of need everything else. Yeah, I kind of need everything else because I'm going to see what else we can craft with the rest of it later on. So I need these two as well. Cack tape I'm going to need. Yeah. Spark plugs I'm going to, I'm going to obviously need those. Screw driver keep. All right. We'll start with that. We do have a bunch of items though that I can sell with the solo over to Ragman. Ragman, get rid of all of these. Hats, keep that one of course. And then we're gonna pop these on the PMC real quick. And get all of these thrown inside of here. So we'll need these as well. Slugs can get sold, we'll keep this guy. Is there any other room? There's not, so we'll stick that in there. Drop that off. We got a lot of stuff. Now I could probably sell the diaries over to like Peacekeeper. That way we'll start leveling him up. We can sell that too. We'll start leveling him up as well. We should be we should be good. That sold. Go over to mechanic next. Sell you, sell you. 
Some of the stuff I do actually need to keep for the gunsmith parts. I can sell these weapons that I'm not going to use. I keep that. Bench, you're at 0.28. You're getting there slowly but surely. I'll sell you as well. Sell that knife. I'm sure there are about a plethora of like extra items that are hidden that I'm not seeing at the moment. Which I'll go back through and go, oh yeah, there was that item that I could sell. We got a bunch of bags still. Did I? I didn't actually empty this one. Oh, it's because they had the fuel in there. Drop those off. All this medical supply stuff too can go. Actually, wait. Let's go back to the hideout. Med station. Okay, so I can't craft anything just yet. Oh, I could craft one of those. Ooh. Let me buy two of these S marshes from you. And then we'll go over to med station. And oh, wait, generator. That's right, use the fuel. I forgot to come back and turn it off. Well, we will remember to turn it off. I'll set a timer for this to all be basically turned back on. Or turned off. Get the wires crafted. That'll give us a little bit of hideout management and also crafting going. Very nice. We'll start with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is definitely going to be the end of this episode. That means in 12 hours, we get to work on the last and final part of the gym and get it up and up and crafted. And then we can get endurance too. Then our next, well, while well, that's actually going, we'll have to also search for TNT, uh, leap pliers, and a bunch of other things because we have to get the security upgraded. Security is the next one that we're going to get done. We'll get there. We'll definitely find those, but those will be the projects that we'll most likely be focusing on next. And of course, some other side tasks as well. So that being said, it's going to be the end of this episode. We hit level two with the PMC without ever stepping foot into a raid, which is pretty basic. You could do that when you, when you can identify everything anyway. So it's nothing like super special. But if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the scavenger series, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode. What you say about for the future. If you haven't yet, subscribe, ding the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one.